Bravo! What a delightful display of magic! My cards and I are always true when you come to town, Madge. As queen, I give you my thanks for entertaining us. As much as I will love a repeat performance, I'm afraid my call has other things that must be attended to. But there is one matter I would like to discuss with you. With your magical expertise, I thought that perhaps you could advise me on the kingdom's recent line in my infestation. In the interest of not holding up the court any longer, I will discuss it with you in the way out, while that proceed with matters. So, these lightning mites have stolen breathing uncontrollably. Do you know anything about their meeting habits? I wondered if. Are we being watched? <laughs> Good. Mm. Now, come on. We'll head over to my chambers. I make sure the guards are patrolling heavily another way. There. Come here. Mm. It's been so long since you came through. If I didn't know any better, I would say you were about me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you're crazy for me. I mean, who will blame you? I may be a bit older than you, but I am royalty. How could a tall and little match such so, so yourself resist an eligible queen? <laughs> so cheeky. Alright, I suppose that's enough falling around. We'd be better... Mm. <laughs> that's just not fair. I would love to just enjoy your company. But that curse lord master is starting to get suspicious, I think. Oh, relax. Without solid evidence, there's nothing they could do. And we're not about to be outsmarted by that ancient fossil any time soon. You become a lore master by being obsessed with how things were done back in the old days. Not by being clever. Alright, well, I'm afraid we're going to have to wait a while longer before we can be together. In public, anyway. I know, every day we are apart just burns me up. But the, if the Lord Master declares me illegitimate, there will be a cope. Lord Master is only a ceremonial role, but people trust them to maintain tradition. And being in a relationship with a commoner, that will definitely be against tradition. Thank heavens I'm not already married, or things will simply be impossible to fix. There are still times that I just want to just punish him. But of course, it's not really about the law master. It's those insurgents who wants to dethrone me. The law master is just easy to bribe. If we get rid of him, they may actually replace him with somebody that's competent. And that's the part that's giving me trouble. I didn't think they would nearly as hard to find as they are, given how easily I found out they were working with the Lord Master. I suppose in the end, that was due to his blundering, not the insurgents. But don't worry, I will rough them out. Once that's finished, I'll be able to make knowledge of a love public. Not that half of the royal court doesn't already suspect us. But they can gossip all they want. It makes no difference. Anyway, 
for now we'll have to maintain secrecy. It is a little fun, though, sneaking around behind everyone's back. Don't you think so? What's the matter? You seem so sober. What do you mean? You can't visit me anymore. Why would you say that? Oh, that's right. I heard they were closing their borders. But what about the other road? Bandits. It is my kingdom the only one that patrols it road properly. Still, I'm not sure why that will prevent us from seeing each other. It just means you can trouble. Ah, I see. You can be a traveling mage if you can travel. And if you get a different job, you lose your excuse to visit the castle. Well, that's not a problem. In fact, it might be an opportunity. After all, you are beloved by me and my court. If you couldn't travel for your work anymore, why it will be only natural to come to your aid. <laughs> I was thinking about doing this anyway. I could make you my court magician. Think of it. You could live here with me. Mm, just think of it. Just perform for me every so often. And I'll be able to paint you like you deserve. No more living in a wagon. Things like sheets and dumb filly pillows every single night. Why? I may ever get you some of your own. So I'll top you get more use all of them. <laughs> Look at that blush. I can't wait to see more of that flossery face. Oh, don't worry. Like I say, it's a completely normal thing. I mean, you are a bit young for a court magician, but everyone knows you already. So it won't seem that strange. We haven't had one in a long time. Not since the incident with the toads. I feel like you should be more excited, love. Don't you want to spend more time with me? The risk? Oh, you worry, Ward. We'll be fine, I already told you. Don't let paranoia keep you from being happy. Shh. Push away those dogs. Listen, first of all, it might not actually be the end of the war if the Lord Master found out. Well, there is a certain someone who owns me. I could call in a favor. They could cover up the whole thing. But, well, that will be a really big favor. And I'd much rather save it for something else. So, it's not as though you could ever be responsible for me losing the throne. I can take care of it if I need to. But, you know, I will give it all up for you if I need to. You mean everything to me. Do you remember when we met? I had just rejected my final marriage candidate. For years, I was presented with vain, selfish, awful people who were only considered illegible for me because they had royal blood. And on that day, the last possible option came before me, and I said no. They discussed me then them and all the others. Everyone was in a panic. They urged me, begged me to reconsider so I could have an heir. I sent them all away and called for anybody who could distract me from my frustration. I was told there was a young traveling mage in town. 
I agree with Otho. I didn't really care at the time. I'm ashamed to say that I don't remember much of your performance. I just wrote the whole time. I'm sure you recall even I left early. I was just passing around the castle. But after you finish, you came and check on me. At first I thought you were just worried you have offended me somehow. But there was real concern for me and your boys. You were just worried about me as a person. Never in my life has someone treated me that way. I couldn't bring myself to tell you that was in my mind, despite your thoughtfulness. So you wish me well, and can choose the rules for me. As far as I was concerned, that sealed the deal. After all, well, I'm sure I don't need to remind you of that night. You're special to me. You treat me like nobody else ever has. And for that reason, I want to treat you like nobody else ever has. You deserve a life of luxury and ease. And I'm in a position to give that to you. I'll stop at nothing to give you the happiness you deserve. You says you made me happy. You're worth the risk. Uh, I know those footsteps. Quick, in the closet. Your Highness, there you are. Where are you in your chambers? I thought you would be back in the throne room by now. Ah, Lord Master, my apologies for not returning. I, I was feeling faith. I see. And what happened to the mage? Did they leave? Yes, yes, the mage left. Actually, there is something I want to discuss with the court about them. But I can wait until I'm feeling better. As you wish. But I must warn you, your highness. I fear that some people think you are growing too attached to the commoner. Truthfully, I am one of them. Your concern is nothing, but the match is perfectly trustworthy, and I am well within my rights to enjoy their performance. Now, leave me. As you command. Yeah, <sighs> all right, you can come on out. I suppose you better go, but you'll be back soon. I'll send my servant to meet you at the sleeping ogre inn. They'll provide you with a room there until I can arrange for you to move into the castle. But before you go, just one more kiss. Until next we meet, darling.